your boy the one the DMV and Sir Guapington the third man the indictment has dropped man I'm gonna be going through this man my condolences go out to Hank man make sure y'all check out Hank on the hill man y'all go check out Big 37 man and show my man some love man we're going through with this indictment of your boy the war in the DMV get ready for the feds you just casually ride through 37. They just riding up, man. They just riding up the hill, man. When they see apparently what they believe to be guap in the car, sitting in the car, man. Instead of him playing it cool, instead of them leaning back, hitting this J, he instantly take off. Pew! He macked it. Boom! Smacked two cars, man. He smacked two cars, man. He hop out and screams. He's like, cheese it. So the feds try to tell him stop, man. He kicking it, man. And apparently when the feds get to the car, they observe a black handgun, man, a cell phone, and a bottle of water, man. A bottle of water, man. Because you know he had to get hydrated real quick because he's about to do the 40-yard dash, man. That's some crazy shit. You was better off just sitting in the car. God damn. So not thinking this man did not toss the key fob. So he got caught with the key fob in his pocket, man. Pretty much they found a conversion switch on the back of the Glock 22, man. With 15 rounds of, you know, a live ammunition as well as one in the chamber, man. Guap is low key fuck, man. That's some crazy shit, man. Then the property damage and all the extra shit. That's just, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like Guap really could have really just stuck with the rap. That's all he had to do was stick with the rap. They got his screensaver confirming that it was his phone in the car, man. They're saying that. Due to the fact that he wasn't riding with anybody and he was the only person in the car, they're throwing everything on him, man. And then they're trying to say that uh, apparently they believe that he is pushing, quote, unquote, narcotics. I don't know anything about that, man. Guap is a rapper, man. But I don't know, man. I don't know nothing about what they saying, but that shit just sounds crazy to me, mo. He was Hank on the hill, man. Come on, that's crazy. How they going to try to paint a picture like that on my man? That ain't cool, man. That was props, man. That shit was some music video only, man. God damn, they got their ass. On a pride case from December of 2016, man. Imagine you just walking down the street and three young black gentlemen pull up to you and tell you, man, you know what time it is, Mo. Get your ass in this alley, cuz. They put you in the goddamn alley, man. They make you walk. They put you in a hole in the wall, man. And they request your pen number. So while you wondering whether you going to live or die, man, they taking your money out your account, man. But they was caught for this, man. It seemed like a real serious charge, man. And he was on probation for this shit, for that shit. And he crashed out. God damn, man. We all going to learn how to stay out the way. God damn. And then there's another case he had. In March of 2018, man, where motherfucker apparently he spotted the ops. Sir Guapington Hill spotted the ops, man, and he attempted to pull a baby 50 and spank his ass, man. And pretty much, you know how that shit went? He apparently macked it then and was caught. With three large bags of marijuana, man, 22 oxycodone pills, man. So they're trying to say that that suggests that he's trafficking narcotics. Three bags of weed is smokable, bro. I feel like that's smokable. You can't say he's selling that. You can smoke that. You can smoke that. Maybe he just buys in bulk because he smokes, man. As for the oxycodone, man, if them real junk. 
Maybe my man had a back problem. Them don't probably for personal use, man. You can't put that on him, man. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs, they got him. He was arrested just set right before he was supposed to get all supervision, man. And while they were watching his Instagram post while he was in said supervision, Oh, my God. One-stop shop still open. Candy and jammers. Then under that, they got a picture with a, uh, a container with pills that said, Catch the hat, Hank at the caption. A bottle of lean that says, Oh, my, talk to me, man. And then a picture of him. Probably off everything that he's using and selling or whatever they're trying to allege. Saying pharmacy open, man. Another bottle of lean. And then uh, bottles of lean in a bag and says squeaky clean. Oh, my God. And then the picture of him standing with the same bags of weed that was found, man. This shit is fucking ridiculous, man. And he was on probation the whole time of this shit. Oh, my God, man. Free Hank, man. We need to put this man in the program. I feel like he he has a lot of potential and a lot of stuff he can do, man. But, Lord, this is the dumbest shit I ever seen, man. And you want probation with it, man? This new generation just do it for the media. If they feel like if they don't see you with it or you don't show the world that you, you feel me, you don't got that shit, that they feel like they're going to think you capping. You don't got to show the world nothing. Stop trying to prove shit to the world because shit like this will pop up. I'm trying to say he's allegedly partaking in the trafficking of jammers, man. But this the part that get me. They say guap beating ass in there. They say guap caught her up and beat that boy so bad. He had to go and go to the uh, real hospital. They kind of sent him to the jail hospital. They had to send him to the real hospital, man. They had to send that boy out, man, because they whooped his ass that bad, man. And then on top of that, motherfucking, he whooped another nigga on his way to court, man. They ain't playing with Guap. Guap built 37th with his knuckles. He used them motherfuckers, man. Goddamn, Guap ain't worried about nothing in that zone, boy. He hits you with them 37 knuckles, 37 niggas. All of them, you gonna feel like 37 niggas hit you when he, when he punch you. So, I ain't gonna lie, he good, man. Then I already know, you know they probably flooding this bus. Guap probably chilling in there, he alright. But I feel like he could come home and make music, man. That's just wild holding him. They're trying to say that due to the fact that, you know, they assume that he's apparently distributing fentanyl or whatever the case may be that they're assuming allegedly uh pretty much they feel that they can't let him out on pre-trial release because he's a danger to the community allegedly that they are saying in my opinion y'all need to pay attention to this because they're gonna start doing a lot more of this shit man they about to drop a whole new crime bill y'all y'all better wake the fuck up Y'all keep thinking y'all gonna be hopping in them free cars and trying to school. Y'all ass gonna be on in jail. And y'all gonna be waiting to y'all damn court date. That shit ain't even worth it no more, y'all. It's too late to be a dope boy. A chill out. But it's y'all boy the war in the DMV, man. I'm out, y'all. This was the Guap and Diamond.